the, the frightening thing is when the people in charge of the country don't tell you what's going on and don't tell you what they think's going on. I think the reason we're frightened, okay, is the most trusted public servants with regard to economic policy, the Secretary of the Treasury and the Chair of the Federal Reserve, two weeks ago, told the American people, continue, were continuing to tell the American people that the economy was fundamentally sound, and they didn't mean long-term productivity, by the way. They meant, really, it's fine, we're going to avoid a recession. Two days later, they showed up, and they asked for 5% of GDP in small, unmarked bills to be placed in a paper bag outside Mr. Paulson's office, no questions asked. That, that's um, that is an unbelievable shocker. If you can tell me when that happened before in the American democracy, I take the point about Pearl Harbor, it's a very good one, but everyone understands being, that, that, that you, the US was attacked. That was a very visible, clear thing. Nobody understands. Very few people understand what is happening in, in this country today. Um, nobody understands that, that the life, what, what credit default swap spreads are. Nobody understands uh, what LIBOR is. Nobody understands why problems in, in, in money market banks far in faraway places of any concern to you. The entire financial system is in jeopardy. And, and it's a, people don't get it because the people who run the economy didn't give them any warning signs. They knew, by the way, a lot more. Not everything. There's some shocks here, but they knew a lot more. Um, but they didn't explain to them. We didn't have the discussion, we didn't have the debate. We now have to catch up. And the good thing about the United States is that we can catch up. And the good thing about being in election season is there's a lot of incentive to catch up. Because if one guy proposes, let's have a debate, I want to talk about my solutions, I don't see how the other person can stay away from that debate. Just on a reassuring note, uh, Simon, it's 